Could we see reverse DRS in Formula 1 in the next few years? Well, maybe. Let me explain in a sec. Hello everyone and welcome back to your weekly F1 News Roundup with me, Lizzie McIntosh. Is we're doing quite well. It's been, a, it's been a couple of weeks now since Abu Dhabi and uh, it's already December. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and happy testing in a couple of weeks basically. We're, we're all good. It's that time of the week again where I share three F1 headlines that you may have missed from this week. Number one. Now as you guys already know, 2026 is going to see a new era of Formula 1 and a new generation of Formula 1 car introduced as well. Amongst many other very cool things, this car will use significantly less energy and will produce net zero exhaust CO to emissions which is great we love that fantastic however Ross Braun, outgoing managing director of motorsports at Formula One, has also revealed that Formula One is considering the introduction of active aero in 2026 to the new generation of cars. This was originally spoken about as a way to help improve fuel efficiency in the new cars, but Ross Braun said, do you know what, maybe there's more to be done here. Essentially with active aerodynamics, you can affect the car in front in a battle out on track. This would slow the front car and in many instances stop a runaway race winner. In the midfield racing this season has been much, much closer, but we have seen instances where there has been one man, <coughs> Max Verstappen, who has really just taken the race and ran with it. He says, you can have proximity that once you get in within a certain degree, the front car loses a little bit of downforce and you gain a little bit of downforce. Do we really think this is right? I mean, considering how people were so up in arms about the introduction of DRS in 2011, with F1 even getting involved in the racing in the first place, do we really think this is the right step for Formula 1? Number 2. The Chinese Grand Prix 2023 has been cancelled. There were questions surrounding the race for the last few weeks and months given the ongoing COVID situation in China at the moment and it was confirmed earlier this week that it would be cancelled. There are no plans currently for the race to be replaced although there are heavy talks of Portimao being reintroduced to the F1 calendar. But for now we are down to 23 races. And number three and possibly the most important piece of news is that Valtteri Bottas has a mullet. But no, I'm kidding. But what is going on there? And number three is that Oscar Piastri is now a fully fledged member of the McLaren F1 team, having completed his final 2022 F1 test with the team. Of course, Oscar Piastri did take part in the postseason Abu Dhabi test, but after that, there was also a private test arranged for him at the Circuit de Barcelona Catalunya with the team to get more experience and more exposure in the car. Said, my neck is pretty sore. It always takes a while to get used to the F1 car, but I'm getting there and I'm looking forward to doing more training over Christmas. So that's all from me. I um, should be bringing you guys some very exciting content tomorrow and early next week. Um, okay, that's all I'm going to say. Bye. Love you.